I'm 28 years old and I am a mother of five. Use words, please. Hi, I'm Brooke. This is Edward, my eldest. He's nine years old. This is Gilbert. He is seven years old. This is Odette and she's five years old. This is Nora and she's two years old. And this is Mabel and she's nine months old. I'm a good big brother because I look after my brothers and sisters. We like having fun together. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Pirate beats. I'm really good at cooking and drawing. Mm -hmm. Mum's really good at cooking. Alright, Mabel, Mum's really good at <laughs> I've always said ever since I was young that I wanted five children. Green? How about purple? Can you explain that your kids each have a different father and there's no relationship? with them. Yes, I'm a single mother and none of my children have anything to do with their dads. Who's not having a treat tonight? Me! Gilbert! Just one of my children were conceived by a sperm donor. I chose a sperm donor based on their race. I had three children already and I thought I had gone on a few dates and I just didn't like dating anymore. So at that time I realised that I didn't really need to go out and date someone to find someone to have a baby with because I knew that I could do it by myself. My first daughter, Odette, she was conceived in Japan and she's half Japanese and that's why I chose to try and find an Asian donor when I was conceiving Nora. Oh, that's a great penguin! The donor I chose was a donor of Chinese ethnicity. No, Look at Odette's picture. Wait, it's like... Okay. Uh, and I didn't really feel the need to go through a clinic when it was quite um, simple to just go through this sperm donor group. The whole process was basically free. It's illegal to pay a sperm donor in Australia for his sperm. This is the two pieces of equipment I used when I artificially inseminated myself at home using a sperm donor. All you basically need is just the specimen jar and the syringe. So that was about $140. So the first piece of equipment is this specimen jar. The second piece is this 10 ml syringe. On the day, the donor is going to put his sperm into this jar here and you're going to pump it up through the syringe and then insert it. And that's all you're going to need. The video that went viral on my TikTok was about why I chose an Asian donor. There was very mixed emotions in the comment section. A lot of them were rude comments or judgmental comments. So the reason why I had a preference for an Asian donor when I was conceiving Nora was because my first daughter Odette, she's almost five, she is actually half Japanese. So a lot of people say that I am racist or that I have a Asian fetish because I have chosen an Asian donor. I was very taken aback by all of these comments. A lot of people online have said that I want my children to be matching and that is why I have chosen an Asian donor, which is, it's not so much about them being matching, just that they have similar features for Odette um, to have similar features to another one of my children. How do these comments make you feel? The judgmental comments did make me feel a bit upset, but I also know myself and know that I'm not racist or have an Asian fetish, so I just had to remind myself of that. I've faced a lot of judgment online. I have been definitely accused of living on the dole. Yes, I do work. I am currently on maternity leave because Miss Mabel is only three months old. They're basically saying that I I'm having more children so I can get the government payments, which is obviously very much not true. Um, I also work part-time too, so I am contributing to the community, which I think is very important for myself and for my children to see as well. Stop judging people on the little snippet you see of their life on social media. I might have won the lotto. A lot of people think it's very unfair to have a child knowing that they're not going to have anything to do with their father. There was an option to have contact with um, Nora's donor, but because of my other children, I don't have any contact with their fathers. Mm. So I chose not to have any contact with Nora's sperm donor. <laughs> Today I'm on my way to see my best friend Alita and I'm going to tell her that I'm currently trying for my sixth baby and I'm so nervous to tell her. Hi. When did Brooke tell you um, about how she'd actually conceived with Nora and what was your initial reaction? <laughs> I can always tell when Brooke's got something to tell me <laughs> because she gets really nervous. She just out, like, told me straight out. 
that she was pregnant and I asked who the dad was and she told me it was through a sperm donor. I didn't think it was controversial because I just thought Brooke is an adult, she can do what she wants to do. I just always support Brooke, no matter what she chooses to do. Always there. And Brooke, is there anything else you want to add or like anything else you guys just want to talk about right now? Two days ago I started trying again for my sixth baby <laughs> using a sperm donor. I knew you this would. <laughs> I knew you would, even though you were like, no more, I'm not having any more. <laughs> I inseminated myself two days ago. So it's already Did it work? started going, not I sure. don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so, a while to find out. Wow. And same person? No, it's no, different. Different, different donor. Yeah. It was Chinese. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. As long as I'm going to be at the birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have always wanted a large family. I am one of seven siblings. Oh. Oh, wow. You found me. Oh, it's you there. Ready? Can you catch? Ready? Oh, oh no! Are you funny? As a single mum of five, I would sum up our life as a very happy, joyful house that's very, very busy. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. The advice I would give other people wanting to go through this path with a sperm donor is to just go for it. It's the best decision you'll ever make and it's a lot less awkward than you think it's going to be.